Okay, so today I'm going to do a couple of videos that look at some tools for on-page optimization in a WordPress website. So if we go to one of the new pages that we're looking at optimizing. Okay, so this is in the back end of WordPress. And the two tools that I'm going to go through are SEO Presso, which is over here on the right, and also the all-in-one SEO and how to actually use that with the Google Keyword Tool. Okay, so when it comes to a, a page that you want to optimize on your site, you can really only optimize it for one keyword. I'm going to show you how you can also include some other keywords that you may be ranked for. Uh, but for this particular page, we're looking to rank it for self-acceptance. And that's why we've actually made sure that that word is in the URL. And we also want to make sure, this is the all-in-one SEO pack, it's a plugin that you can add into WordPress, that we also have it in the title tag, in the description, and the keywords. Then what we want to do is have a look at maybe some other words that we could also include in those. So I've gone into the Google Keyword Tool, put in some, some terms that I might be interested in, put it on phrase match so it's a bit more accurate, and you can see that in Australia for self-acceptance, you've got about 480 people a month searching for self-acceptance. And then you've got about 6,600 searching for in the moment, which is also something that the page is about. Um, however, in the moment uh, is also a TV show, I think, apparently. So there may be some other words like living in the moment, live in the moment, that you actually may want to optimize for as well. So if we go back to the all-in-one SEO, you can see that we've got self-acceptance, accepting yourself, living in the moment, live in the moment. Also in the description, we've got self-acceptance, and then we've got accepting yourself as well. And then we put some of those words in the keywords. Now, when you actually search for self-acceptance in in Google. Now we're not going to see it for this page right now because we've only just started on it. But when you search for something in Google you obviously get these listings that come up. So the title tag is the bit that turns up here in blue. So if we go back, so whatever you write in here is what someone's going to see in that blue bit. And it's, it's really important for, for Google to make sure that you've got the keywords in that part. Then in the description that's the bit that turns up in the black section. And if you don't put something in there, then it will automatically just take something from your page. So ideally, you want to put words in there that you also want your site to be found for. Now, a way of having looked to see what your title tags are on your page is if we actually go to the self-acceptance live page. If you have a Firefox um, then you'll be able to certain versions of Firefox and you can actually see it at the top like I can here. So self-acceptance, accepting yourself, living in the moment. So to show you some examples of pages that have been optimised, I've just put Healing Brisbane into Google. You've got a competition of four and a half million. You can see the importance of Google Places because that's what's actually coming up first now. And then if you have a look down on the page, you can see that for this particular website, we've got the third and fourth listing at the moment. And if you have a look, you can see that there's Healing Brisbane in the title tag, Healing Brisbane in the URL. That's why this URL, this page of the site is higher ranked than the home page. Then you've also, we've also got it twice in the description. Again, with this one, you've got it in the title tag, partly in the URL and then you've also got it in the description. Another good example is when you search for Scott Knight's name. Out of 96 million, we've actually got five listings on the home page. So you've got the website here, so it's got his name in the title tag, in the URL, in the description. This is another website of his. Then you've got Facebook, True Local, and hot frog. So it's really important to, and, and then also he will be one of the people in LinkedIn. So it's really important to look at all the things that you're using to get yourself ranked. 